When you're crimping your connectors onto wires, you're going to want to make sure you have a nice crimp. And what that means is that your full wire is going to be securely in the pin, and the pin's still going to be straight after your crimp. If your crimp tool might not be adjusted properly, if the crimp is too loose, the wire might just slip out of it again, or it might not fit into the housing. Same goes for if your crimp tool is too tight. Um, it might not, the pin might not fit into the housing, or the pin might end up deformed or bent, like what's happened to this one here. So in case you need to adjust your crimp tool, it's very easy to do. All we're gonna do is loosen this screw here. It's a standard Phillips head screw. And once we've loosened it, we can rotate this disc here to adjust the crimp force. There is a plus and a minus imprinted on it, and it'll show you in which direction of rotation uh, you're gonna be increasing or decreasing the crimp force. So we can just rotate this disc, and there really is no way to know which position is the optimal one to adjust your tool to. So we recommend just um, trying it out, moving it by one notch, and then if you need to adjust it again, you can still do that. So once you've lined up the next notch with the, uh, with the hole, you can re-tighten the screw, and then you're ready to crimp again, test it out. If you still need to adjust it, you can just repeat that process. And once you've gotten the right crimping force figured out, you'll be able to get a much neater crimp in case you were having any issues before.